This is another common start to a driving test. I've just turned left out at the end of the test centre road and parked up on the left in the first minute or so of the driving test. So I'm going to set off again and I'm going, to, I'm going to go on a typical first five minutes of a driving test if you come this way. Checking all around before I move off, making sure of the blind spot, moving away, no signal necessary as there was no traffic around. I am in a 30 miles an hour road as indicated by the lamp post and the absence of any other signs. The usual instruction at this roundabout is to make a right turn. So at the roundabout we're making a right turn. Centre right mirrors, signal right, drop the speed, second gear. Looking on approach, it's clear and safe for me to go. I'm going to go onto the island keeping slightly away from that path. Keeping it nice and slow so I've got plenty of time to check my left mirror, left signal and come off giving these cars enough clearance. At the traffic lights, turning right. The instruction would be at the traffic lights I'd like to turn right and you may use either lane. I'm staying in the left lane. It's got an option to go left or right. Just as I approach, centre right mirrors, signal right. I'm using this lane because I want to finish in the normal driving position, which is the left lane. If, however, you make a mistake and use the lane on the right here, that's fine. But make sure you finish in the right lane and then build up speed quite quickly and return to the left lane. This will allow following traffic to overtake you. Checking mirrors again, moving off. Nice and wide into the left lane, new speed limit 50, increasing that gas. So if you did make the mistake here and you were in that right hand lane, you just need to get going a little bit quicker and make sure you return safely using the mirror signal routine. You can see now the cycle lane is a little bit clearer, so I'm making sure I stay out of that. Looking in the distance, I can see a change in speed limit. So I'm not going to wait till I get there, I'm just going to come off the gas pedal. The car's going to decelerate. Now we've just reached 40 miles an hour, so I'm going to just take it back to fourth gear. I can see plenty of signs and markings, there is a set of traffic lights coming up. The beeping was just a warning on the sat nav of a speed camera. No instruction has been given, so I'm simply following the road ahead, which is what your examiner will say to you at the beginning of the driving test. See the tyres on the car in front, touching the tarmac, so that's a nice safe gap. So change, checking mirrors, you can see a white Volvo approaching quite quickly in the right hand lane, that's fine, it's not an issue for me. Keeping my safe distance in front. Although the road is slightly damp, it isn't raining, so a two second gap would be sufficient today. So when he passes the lamp post, normally a fool makes the two second gap's fine so even though we can't quite get up to 40 we've still got the safe gap looking in the distance I can see new signs giving me more information 30 so I'm gonna check my mirror there is a black car close behind I'm just gonna touch my brakes a little bit just to let him know that I am slowing down now we're down at 30, I'm going to select third gear. The lights have changed, so I'm just going to check my mirror again. I'll, I'll break early again because the guy behind is quite close, so I'm just trying to give him more warning that I'm stopping. And again, keeping a safe gap in front. I'm putting the handbrake on because we've stopped for more than a couple of seconds, so it secures the car. The car in front did move a little bit further forward. 
I'm not going to do that because there's no point. I'm not setting off anyway. It's not going to make me get any more progress. Checking my mirror again. So I'm aware of what's approaching me when I'm sat in traffic, in particular motorbikes, cyclists. And the next set of lights, one of the instructions you can be given is I would like you to follow the road round to the left under the railway bridge and follow signs for Ingle. So that's where I'm going to go. So the first one will be follow signs to city centre. You can see the diagram there. Keeping the gap again. Traffic started to move off. Checking all my mirrors again. Just make sure I know what's coming up behind me. As I go through this first set of lights, because the instruction was to go straight ahead, I do have to move slightly to the straight ahead lane. You can also be asked to turn left at those lights. Keep them on that bike and the big fella crossing. So I'm gonna go left at these lights, centre left mirrors, signal left. If you are unsure of the signs, that's fine, please ask. I'm following signs for Ingle. Still got a filter light. Just having a quick look to my right, make sure nobody's sneaking through. I'm keeping out of the cycle lane. I'm wagging on my left. Right mirror check. Coming up to a mini roundabout. I'm going to follow the road ahead. Or I'm going to cross the roundabout. Clear to carry on. Cycle lane again, I'm just increasing that power. So I'm still following signs for Ingle, I'm still aware that this speed limit is 30 miles an hour, as indicated by the lampposts and no other signs. So it's quite difficult to see this sign sometimes, but Ingle is straight ahead. I'm just about to see it now, and we have got a filter to go ahead. As we go through the lights, and again, the right hand speed sign is obstructed, but now we can see the left one clearly. Checking the mirrors and increasing speed up to 40 miles an hour. This is Tom Benson Way, it's a series of roundabouts on a 40 mile an hour stretch of road, and it is a very common road used on driving tests. Along this stretch of road, if you come down here, what the driving examiner will be looking for is that you keep up to speed and that you correctly negotiate the roundabouts when you get to them. Still a 
straight ahead. So I'm going to follow the road ahead again. Second exit in. Slow approach, second gear, keeping nice and wide again. Left mirror, left signal, left curve, and accelerate. Up to third, squeeze in third, up to 40 miles an hour. roundabout, Ingle is the right turn, so I'm going to turn right, centre, right mirrors, right signal, position, very important, nice and early, next to the white line, into the right hand lane, looking on approach, I can see a black car coming out, he's gone the other way, he didn't signal, but that's fine, I didn't know where he was going, so I paused, we got really slow, a little bit of a delay, staying reasonably close to the island, now left mirror, Left signal, looking down the new road, left curve. New speed limit posted, 30 miles an hour. At the next junction, the driving examiner may or may not give you an instruction because he's already told you to follow the road ahead. So we're going to follow the road ahead. However, it is a crossroads and we do have a give way sign. So we're going to position as though we were turning right because the road ahead is slightly across to the right. So I've got to totally make sure we're here that nobody's coming from either way. I do see cars coming from both directions, so I've applied the handbrake and I'm just waiting. The car at the junction across looks like he's coming straight ahead as well. There he is. So we can both go to the new road, again aware that it is 30 because there are lampposts and no other signs. Now I'm going to park on the left in a safe convenient place, centre left mirror, signal left and gently bring the car into park. Once I've parked, remember the three things you've got to do, handbrake, neutral, signal off. 